Welcome back to the High Sierra Report. I'm your host, Kat Lorisella, and we're talking about the Washu tribe. They used to live in, well, they still do live in the Lake Tahoe area, and they'd lived here for 6,000 years. And uh, they would generally spend the summer in the High Sierra Nevada mountains, and they're the only tribe whose language is not Numic, which means that they are believed to be the first tribe to have inhabited the region um, before neighboring tribes. One of their neighboring tribes was the Northern Peyote people, which culturally and linguistically are very different, and they sometimes came into conflict. The Washu were confined to the area of South Carson City, and they were deprived from owning horses. Washu people may have had contact with Spanish explorers in the early 19th century, but the Washu did not sustain contact with people of European culture until the 1848 California Gold Rush. Washu resistance to the incursions on their land proved futile when the last armed conflict with the Washus and non-Indians was the Potato War of 1857 when starving Washus were killed for gathering potatoes from a European-American farm near Honey Lake in California. Loss of the valley's hunting grounds to farms and the pine groves to feed Virginia City's demand for lumber drove most Washu to find dependency on jobs in white ranches, farms and cities. The areas where they settled became known as Indian colonies. So now under the Indian Re Registration Act of 1934, the colonies in Carson Valley, Nevada and California gained federal recognition as the Washu tribe of Nevada and California. So that's a little history on the Washu tribe of Lake Tahoe and we'll be back with more of the High Sierra Report right after these messages, so make sure you stay tuned.